She's going to come up and present. Give Miss Marcia and her class a hand. And she tells us black religious leaders. Thank you, everyone. As the eighth grade, Mark Gavilon presents Bishop Richard Allen. And Ariana Owens presents Howard Washington Thurman. And Franklin Lane presents Thomas Andrew Dorsey. And Malaya Lane, I mean, Malaya Santos presents Mordecai Johnson. These are religious black leaders. Bishop Richard Allen, born February 14, 1760, died March 26, 1831. Was a minister, educator, writer, and one of America's most active and influential black leaders in 1794. He founded the African Methodist Episcopal Church. The first independent black denomination in the United States, he opened his first AMB church in 1794 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Elected the first bishop of AME Church in 1816, Allen focused on organizing the denomination where free blacks and could worship and fought racial oppression and where slaves could find a measure of dignity. He worked to upgrade the social status of black community, organizing Sabbath schools to lead literacy, promoting national organizations to develop political strategies. Howard Washington Thurman, born November 18, 1899, was an African American author, was an African American author, was an African American author, Philip the theology educated and civil rights leader as a promote religious figure he played a leading role in many social justice movements and organizations of the 29th century Thurman's the theology of racial nonviolence influence and shaped a generation of civil rights active activities and he was a key mentor and leader within a movement including Martin Luther King Jr. Thomas Andrew Dorsey, born July 1st, 1899, died January 23rd, 1993, was known as the father of black gospel music and was at one time so closely associated with the field that songs written in a new style were sometimes, known, was, were sometimes known as Darcy's. Earlier in his life, he was a leading blues pianist known as Georgia Tom. As formulated by Darcy, gospel music combines Christian praise with the rhythms of jazz and blues. His, con his conception also deviates from what it being, to that time, standard hymnal practice by referring explicitly to the self and its relation to faith and God, rather than the individual subsumed into the group by belief. Darcy was born in Villa Rica, Georgia. He was the music director at Pilgrim Baptist Church in Chicago, Illinois, from 1932 until the late 1970s. His best known composition, Take My Hand, Precious Lord, was performed by Mahalia Jackson.